sections all over the world and then get them back. You know, that's how, that's the way that we're doing things. Is it true that when you're working on an episodic series, if you, like, you bounce from one episode to another episode, that way everything uh, gets out on time? Depending what, what you're doing, but for the most part, where I work, it's a bigger studio, so it's a, it's a well-oiled machine. In a bigger studio, if you're a character, you do character on one show only. All your main focus is on that show because there's such a big budget behind it. And of course, this show, Lion, Lion Guard, Lion King, is such a brand that everyone's in it. By everyone, I mean toy companies, uh, theater, music, everything, toys, but it's just merchandise, clothes, everything you can think of, shoes, anything are all in it. They're all, as we're designing the show, they're designing toys. There are different departments that design specifically for that, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, to answer your question, I really, like, you really don't bounce. You stay on one show, like, pretty much the direction of the show. There are a lot, like I said, there's a lot of work out there. And there are other shows out there, like, for instance, and where I work, there are, like, so many shows happening right now. I mean, and they're constantly, like for instance, for me, I've been employed for the last 18 years at Disney only. I never worked anywhere else. And I try to freelance every now and then just to keep things cool and fresh and no people. But other than that, I'm, I've stayed in one show for the duration of the show. And then when the show is ending, they put me on development for another next show. And But no, storyboard guys, it's storyboard guys, it, what is this? You can freelance. You can have your day job and then freelance for other studios too. A lot of that happens. But within the company, you kind of move around. Where you move around to do different things, you be a smaller studio. Where you can do the jack of all trades. And there would be an animation, depending on how your experience is. And again, you get paid more for that. Oh, yeah. Um, do you guys have any questions? Nope. Wow, you guys get it quick, huh? Okay, look. We're gonna uh, challenge each other more. I know how hard we are as artists. Sometimes we're listening, but we like, kinda wanna draw, right? Like some of you guys are like, ah, I wanna draw, I wanna do things. So what we're gonna do in the next time, hours that we have together, we're gonna create our own shows, okay? And we're gonna do the whole process that I do from beginning to end today in the next uh, two and a half hours. It'll be like a design marathon. And you guys are free to either work on something that you guys have already been working on, and you kind of can fit it into the in, in, into into designing our own shows. Okay. So now let's do basic rules to begin with. Okay. The show can have three characters the most. Okay, no more than three characters. And it can be about, <laughs> let's say, aliens. Aliens lends itself for, for an infinite amount of things. It could be a lot of it could happen in Mars. Uh, you start thinking inside, like as you're drawing, is it a war between Mars and Earth or what? What does it take place? You start thinking about these things, answering these questions as you're doing it, okay? Learn to flow, don't get blocked. Keep moving. Aliens don't work, blah, blah, blah. switch it, switch it, switch it, switch it. Keep drawing, keep drawing. I'm gonna draw, and I'm gonna stick to aliens, okay? Because for me, aliens, I feel like I can put robots. I can put humans, mixed with robots, organic, any shape. And for me, no, no drawing is gonna be wrong because hey, it's an alien. Now, you can do that, or you can stick to cowboys. Cowboys are cool. What I want you guys to focus on is on those four different personality traits. Keep it in mind, keep, keep, keep working it in different shapes. Make sure they read well silhouette. Have one girl in it, have one leading character, and one bad character, okay? Now, the girl could be a psychic, or it can be a uh, actual girl character, some character. The main character can be a girl. The main character can be an animal. You know, it's your choice. And you, if you guys cannot, like kind of think of for whatever reason you know right now it's too much you guys can just follow me okay you guys can totally follow me so right now in my head i'm gonna say i'm gonna do something about aliens i haven't done before so i'll be like i'm already thinking i'm gonna do shapes so i'm gonna do kind of my rough lineup so you get to see how you think yeah you guys agree with that all right
Um, is, is everybody that's at one of the school computers, do you guys have a stylus from up front, correct? Uh, if you don't have a stylus, uh, grab one, oh, yeah. sign it out. That way you guys can uh, use the pads. Try not to use your mouses. Um, you guys want to get used to using the stylus on these pads. It'll benefit you guys in the long run. Or if you have paper, you can draw on paper, just like people keep on paper. Sketching brush. I like the sketching brushes that look kind of. Uh, you can make your own brushes. Do their tutorials online. I like the brushes kind of look like crayon a little bit. They look like pencil. Let me see. playing with shapes and then I'm gonna pick the character and when I start doing this I try to draw really small uh, I'm gonna create a little line here And 
when I, at this point, it's going to be all gesture. I'm just going to have fun and uh, sketch around. And when I sketch, I really don't worry about the line. I mean, there are different approaches to sketching. I'm going to do two of them. The first is going to be just line, right? Thinking about the outside and the inside, thinking about kind of like the, the spirit of the character. So I'm going to do the, okay. Uh, I'm trying to make it to appeal to you guys. You guys are young, older adults. I'm trying to make like shapes like that. And the thing, what is the this is gonna make this guy alien? I kind of want these shapes to come here like this. Okay, I'll leave him alone right there. Okay, I'm like, ah, uh, it's not feeling like a main guy. It can think. So I'm going to the next one. Maybe like a, like a more triangular guy. What would be an heroic pose? It'd be kind of like, hmm. This guy looks like a cocky guy. He's like kind of cocky to himself, right? You can see in a way it's going to be like, uh, cool. Then, I start making maybe something smaller. What would, be, what would be this guy? How can I make him a main character? If he has like gadgets on the back, I'll figure it out later. I just start working with shapes. It's a thing. Maybe this guy's a robot. Yeah, like it's like cool little eyes like that. Oh, my head is picking up on uh, what's the name of that show that came out? Uh, oh, nice. What was it? Seven something? Figure six. Figure six. Yeah, I'm already like this is recorded. Figure <laughs> six. <laughs> but let's say I can make it completely different than Figure six. your short keys too, like control these, the select, right? Control minus, zoom in and zoom out, right? You don't need things a lot easier. R is to rotate, right? Are you guys familiar with the short keys? The shortcuts? Story gonna be? Who's gonna be back there? What are they doing? Where are they from? I'm already thinking about that. I'm thinking um, we can take it to reference that movie that came out, which is one I really like. It. It's super 
Geeky, geeky movie is called uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. hey, do you guys like that? Yeah. yeah. How about a Pacific Rim? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I like this kind of movies. And uh, the reason why I like it because they're like co visual comic books. They're like comic books. In Pacific Rim, I like how they use space. And for a storyboard guy, the storyboard people, I think it's such a challenge to use big shades with smaller humans and how they use the angles. And this thing was really interesting. And then the movie I like too is Avatar. I like movies like that that are kind of like, um, what should I call it, like uh, fantasy too, anything goes. Uh, let me take a look at what you guys are doing. The shapes. I like ideas from you guys. Oh. Any questions? When you draw small, it just is faster like that. It, 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 it's, it's faster, you get a lot more done, you get to um, brainstorm at the same time. So I think in my character, just, just relax and, and, and have fun with it. Use reference to different things, different movies you've seen, things you like. They can be realistic, they can be super simple shapes. Don't, don't, don't push them too much. It can be kind of like characters like uh, South Park. Anything can be anything, anything can be anything, anything can have personality. Right? Like this, cover up over here. It's like 
wandering everywhere, like, really scary. And I design a car, or a, let's say a baby carriage. If you make a baby carriage, it could be like really like, like kind of like fun and rhythm like this, and have bigger shapes like that, you know what I mean? Big wheels. But what if I design the shapes a bit different? Like this over here, and it's like a little more, I want it to look meaner, like the back tire is bigger, the front tire is smaller, it has like a smiley, like, Shark in it, like face on it. It has this thing, but it's more pointier, like that. It shapes like this. Right? It's darker and chiseled. They totally have different personality, right? One feels more aggressive. You can put like a cave ball in here. You know what kind of baby that's gonna be? You can put like a shifter with a skull in it, right? And you just keep going. This is all like dainty and it has like little like a Beautiful wheels, round wheels, it has a hard window to it. Very simple shape. You can already imagine what kind of baby it's going to be. This is going to be like nice and spokes over here. I'm making this one a little bit smaller just to so be better. This one is like man, you buy it. What kind of baby is Right? That already has personality, right? The prop. And now you can imagine what the baby is going to be inside, right? Can you kind of, kind of like visualize what the babies are going to be like? So that goes for prop design. I mean, prop design is a fun field too. Even the cars, even muscle cars, or cars from the 70s. How would you like to keep the tires bigger? Like there was a show called Kick Potosky. That's what they did. They did the, 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 the creator. It was that 70s. It was back in the 70s. You remember that? And he had the banana and seed bikes and stuff like that. The guy was from the 70s. Just like you'd be making it on, it's going to be about now. Music that was drawn 20 years ahead. Did you know how you can make it on the music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
this could be ge geometry, could be whatever it is, biology, and you're sketching around. And then you might have not written anything, but when you go back to the drawing, you remember or you feel like you know what they were talking about, right? Yeah. So that's what is being recorded into this now. Um, so, so then I go for the bad guy. This guy, the more I draw him, the more he's becoming a bad guy because the more I'm liking him. Maybe on one of these things, he has a saw. Yeah, two simple notes. This thing is gonna have like a shock thing with like, like, uh, como se llama eso? Electricity, right? On this side, it's gonna become just a hand. It's gonna shoot a rocket or something like that. This one is put another chainsaw or something that looks kind of like that. And I'm thinking of Gears of War. I'm thinking, who's working with, with Gears of War? Yeah, cool, I like that game. Show me, I like showing you. Play every now and then. Call it, ele ele what do you call it, electronic crack? Because you get addicted and you're playing and you're like, why every now and but that, that, and I show that I like the weapons. And so in my head right now, I'm referring to all kinds of things. So all the stuff they told you in life that was geeky, which is comic books and movies and everything like that, it's going to help you now, OK? Um, so now, I did the box. I figured out I'm going to put one leg forward and one leg back. Show like the front of this one. This one's falling back. This one. I'll Move it forward like a punch or something. At this point, I'm like, oh, that's cool. I leave it there. But later on when I come back, I'm going to come back to the sketch and I'm going to refer to boxing. And I'm going to see how, oh, how is he throwing the punch like that. And then I'm going to adjust this character to that, right? But right now, I'm just letting things come and have fun with it. It's a lot easier to do your own thing because, like, you're looking in parts of your head that you like, and that it come out easy, right? Like I said, I stress again, there is no right or wrong. Now, over here. When I started at Disney, I want to give you a quick sample. I, I used to watch my this lead character designer on Lilo and Stitch at the time, and this guy was such a perfectionist. I mean, he would do a drawing like that, but he would make it like almost like it looked like it was done. But and I thought it was great. But what he would do is he would draw like 15 times more. And what he did every time he did that was he would flip the drawing. Like for instance, I go from here, image. He would do an animation, of course. He would rotate. Uh, what is it? Edit, transform, flip horizontally. And you start seeing different things about character. Not only here because it's rough, but it's, it's the wrong example. But on a character that's already been finished and it's like really tight, when he would flip it, he would see things that were done incorrectly and he would start tweaking it again. And then he would flip it back and would start tweaking it. He was very good at doing that. Then, when I tried doing that at the time, I would flip it like he did. But every time I flipped and every time I turned over, the drawing started becoming stiffer and stiffer. It lost the life, right? But if you flip it like a few once or twice, you can still fix the like geometry on it, you know, and 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 still keep the life of the character, like the, the energy that a drawing has. That's why I, I, I look at you. What's your name? Me. When from you? What's your name? Jody. Huh? Jody. 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 Jody, I, I watch you drawing, and your drawings, like your gesture has a lot of energy. It's a lot of gesture, you know, you must really enjoy life drawing. And, and I can tell just by watching you. And when you clean up those characters, like, you, you want to keep the energy with the line and overlaps like that, you know? It's going to be really easy because you're so really pushed. And I just keep on watching you. You kind of want to, like, uh, Actually, give a class maybe one of these days to your friends or like <laughs> see how you do that gesture because that would be like the right way of doing it. I do this as an example so you guys all can become friends with Jody, yeah? <laughs> this is a great example of like how you guys want to like watch her. Don't be shy, share things. Be, be competitive in a way because competition kind of makes things better. But hey, like don't stop and say, hey man, that's pretty cool. Like 
How you do that? And vice versa, yeah? Uh, <coughs> Characters you were just sketching out right here. If you wanted, if you kind of liked the design of one of them, but I mean, this is like super rough, just basic ideas. How would you, what would you do next though to After this? play with them more? Yeah. What I would do right now, this is helping me like, because sometimes you get mental, but it helps me like like the character. And as I'm turning it right here, I'm figuring out how he's gonna, how he's gonna be as a block. And all these things prepare me for later on to finalize the character because I know the character now. I know I want that guy to be a bad guy. That way I'm <coughs> drawing like 10 different bad guys and I have all these like characters in my head. I kind of come into this guy and I study him. I move him around because later on when we do the turnarounds, which is after this, after we create our characters and we know who we, they are, we're gonna have plenty of time, we're gonna jump into turning one of these characters, okay? And, and doing the cheats for the three quarter front, the side of you and the back, okay? <coughs> but yeah, like after this, like we'll, we'll pick one and then we'll turn it. Like then. But right now in my head, I'm trying to figure out like how it's going to be the width between here. If this is going to be a dome, how it reads from here. I'm going to translate that over here. I'm already kind of like studying the character or the shapes and how they come together. And I'm making my, my mind of who they are and like what kind of weapons or so what are the limitations. And limitations. Like for instance, this guy, his flaw is this a little guy. He cannot compete to the other guys, so he needs this minion robot, you know. And then now I'm trying to make the character, the minion robot, have his own personality, kind of like, uh, you know. Right now I'm thinking, I'm, and I'm referring to all kinds of things that I've seen. I'm thinking about right now. This was this movie. It was a minion. It was a fish, and it was a robot. It was a fish, and it, and it was. Uh, I well, yeah, that one. Yeah, Mega Man. Yeah, he was so cool. Little fish inside, little piranha in the teeth, and he had like an egg body. Like right now, I'm thinking about that. How they, how they did that? Like, if it, if it should there be water underneath to build up so they crack his glass, he's done. So that's his weakness. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to think a weakness for him and his robot that something seems indestructible. What would be his weakness, right? So, um, so I do that for the bad guy. And I'm okay, yeah, that's my bad guy, I'm sold. Right? Then I'm gonna go to the back, all my other characters. And I'm gonna try to give him personality too. And at the same time I'm thinking about the world. Like the world they live in. Like, what's it gonna be like? And with a few lines, you can kinda like sketch. Like, oh, planet Mars, and it's gonna have like all these domes all over the place. Instead of like craters are gonna be different planets and they're gonna be like these like maybe futuristic looking cities and like kind of like that and they're kind of like either they're attached or they're not maybe they're floating like spaceships and stuff like that so how would they live in like do they have like uh, high rises or this one becomes like that and it has like different parts in between you know I start thinking about where they're gonna be from like what the world looks like Right? And, that, and what the spaceships are going to be. Right? I always think about a blimp, but a futuristic looking blimp and stuff like that. Right? That's the thinking of us, that's what it's going to be. We have like different moons. I always sell them. We have like different bunch of moons. Right? And roughly, you get to see the idea of what the world is going to be like, right? Then you quickly add color to that.
super simple, right? You can already get an idea of where they're from. Okay? Like that. So now, out of all these characters, I keep going and developing one of those characters. But I'm going to choose one of them. I'll choose probably the bad guy because I, I, mean, I, I, like, the, I'm, I like the bad guy so far. Any questions? Yeah, we're good? Okay. So, I can keep on going like this all day long, coming up with other ideas. But now, let's say, oh, this show is like, that's it, it's awesome, okay now, let's go into production. Let's, we need to do turnarounds, we need to do, which is the blueprints of the character, of the show, right? We're gonna do backgrounds, we're gonna do props, and we have a script already, we read the script, and then now we do design the characters for animation. We choose what kind of animation is going to be, it's going to be 3D or 2D. You know what? Time out. Before I move on from this point, I want to show you another way of designing. Okay, like I told you before, it was line and there's going to be shapes, okay? So now, real quick, sorry about that, let me backtrack a little. We're going to design the shapes now, okay? Before I move on. And these are different ways of thinking. Okay, I'm going to... But even you can make a character out of that. I'm sure, but... <laughs> our mistakes. Okay. I use the, the lasso tool. Line, line, line. Uh, little hands, little things like this. Uh, Wait, you said you're using the lasso tool? Yeah. Um, but how, like, lasso oh. tool is a selection tool, isn't it? Yeah, it's a selection tool. But then, uh, when I when I click, lasso tool is press L. Uh, when I when I choose this one over here to like, it is add adds. Oh, oh okay. So you don't have to because uh, yeah. if if if. Yeah. So you're not actually drawing any lines right now? No, I'm, I'm thinking shapes, like I go, eh, another bigger shape. Okay. Oh, okay, that's actually really cool. Uh, so what I'm doing is, okay, I'm do a shape here. Uh, we'll do a hand over here, another hand over here. Hand, hand, long legs would be cool, that's right. Another shape on top, the ears, like this. And then I fill it, right? How do you automatically fill it? Uh, I press Alt and delete. It fills it. Or I can go image, or edit, fill. Okay? So then now, I'm like, okay, that's kind of like what I want. Is that a good way to like immediately get your silhouette? Yeah, this one is another way. It, like, for instance, you can also like do action characters. I'm going to go like this, and then like, it's running. Or it's jumping. Right? You get this thing, and sometimes, I mean, they, you all have problems here, but you kind of get those, stuff, that like that, and then you start building on top of it. Okay. Or I can straight out be with a pencil, and be in, in the, the tool, the, the pen, to, the brush tool, and just make it bigger, like this, like that. And then my eyes come right here, and I come right here. And it's gonna have ears like this. And it's gonna have another square, another square. Then I can make another different color for this. And then I make a different color underneath. And I make the shape underneath like that. And so you. And uh, I create another layer underneath, and I can do the arms. Okay, so I'm creating, I'm, I'm designing shapes, right? Right? And I can just 
sign like this too. another way of designing with shapes if it were best for you. Yeah. This guy is you can't really be mad for that. He said it looks evil. When you're using a lot of tool, are you uh, holding it uh, for the hockey down to add or you're just lasso? No. I go lasso and lasso, regular lasso. If I do a lasso here, but if I do the next one, it'll disappear. Yeah. It'll keep disappearing, right? So you want to keep, you want to hold the button in to add yeah, and you hold, you press this button once, and you just, oh, oh sorry. And this one just keeps on adding. What button did you turn? Uh, no, you just click over here for adding. Okay. Regular. And then if you have something like that, the subtract. You subtract. This one's like negative, so you keep that space. But I really don't use this two, I just use this one. And I keep it on at all, at all times. It gives you like this really cool accident when you go like, uh, and you fill it in, you know what I mean? Like, boom, like that. And so you select. Now, this is a really cool thing. Let's say if I like this shape like this, and it's pretty much an invisible, right? It's an invisible shape. You see, it's, it's, it's a layer. It's a layer. So now, if I press this lock, it'll lock the outside. I can no longer draw on the outside. See, I can no longer draw on the outside, right? You see that? I can only draw on top of the character. See? So that makes it easier, right? To do this. You guys are familiar with that, or? You guys know things like that? One more time, one more time. Oh, cool, I can show you a basic tool. Cool, cool. Okay. I mean, this is cool. Okay. So let's say, in Photoshop, you have the, the basic background here. See the background? Now, if I create a layer, forget all these layers for now. If I create a new layer, and I begin to draw shapes here, I use the lasso tool, and what, what do you guys want me to draw? Anything. A shape, fish, or what? Like a dog. A what? Do a, a dog. giraffe. A giraffe. So real quick, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to the giraffe and this, and then I have like this. This shape like that, a squid. and then I'm going to go like this, and then I'm going to give up the head, and then I'm going to go like this. And then over here I'm press Alt. Alt, I'm going to add like more hair on top like this, make it all like you, like that. But then, I, by pressing Alt, can you see the, 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 the one icon changes to minus? Yeah. Okay. I can do minus things like this. Mm -hmm. I can take up pieces over here to make like hair like that. We can no scroll over here like that, right? I can add in the lab over here because I have it set up to add all over here. You see that? So now, oh, we're gonna it here. So it goes like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, So now, let's say uh, I'm going to fill it, okay? Edit, fill. It'll fill this one in the front of you. Edit, fill. It asks me foreground or background? Foreground, red. Okay? Now, if I like this selection, and want to keep it with selection I like, I'm going to go into channels. Right? Channel, so I'm going to click this little button over here. And it says the selection for you. Because in case you lose it, like this, there's no way you can get it back unless you select it again, right? But it's not going to be the same. So now, if you grab this little guy over here, and you bring it back into this little, like, like it looks like a little, like, a uh, lasso tool icon, it'll select your selection again. Okay, you see that? You guys are familiar with that, right? 
Cool. No? Oh, cool, cool, okay. Well, let's say that um, I lose the selection, I lose the character. Control the selection, I'm like, oh, I lost it. Oh, wait, I saved it on the channels. And I grab it again, and bring it into that, and there it is again. I can always save my selections, okay, in case you want to save them. Okay. Why would you do that? Let's say I want to create a giraffe from scratch again and use the same template. Instead of redrawing it again, I always have my selection. I can fill it again. I can fill it again. Now, I want another giraffe. They say it changes to this one. I select it again. And I can make it smaller too. Oh, that's okay. And I can fill it again a different color. Blue maybe. And I have different ones. Okay? So it creates a template. Or I can simply copy it. But let's say that I do changes.